a week. It's a celebration of a person's life after they passed away. But what about if a person you're remembering is still alive? Cynthia Mulligan's here with us now. One man's living wake and how he's saying goodbye before he's actually gone. Cynthia. That's right, Gord. Having a living wake is very rare for someone to throw a party knowing they are about to die. But that is what Darren Glass did this past weekend. And I have to say, this was a really tough story to tell because Darren and his wife are part of our City TV family. She is the director on Breakfast Television. So this is a story about love told with love. It looks like a regular backyard party on a beautiful summer day. Old friends, family, and lots of laughter. <laughs> But just under the surface, behind the smiles, every person you see is grieving. They are here to say goodbye to this man, 44-year-old Darren Glass. His body has been ravaged by cancer, but not his spirit. This is his own living wake, a celebration of a beautiful life. When I was first diagnosed with three to six, it was uh, three to six months to live. It was the scariest thing has ever been said to me first thought I had was uh, having a living wake and I thought you know what I'd like to say while well, I'm alive bye to all my friends who mean the most to me and my family so I just I wanted to make sure that everyone before I left knew the way I felt about them well, that's nice. thanks Auntie Jeanette I love you darling I love you too this is Darren before he became ill, a lover of the outdoors, a man who had several different careers, his last as a budding actor. He's always been known for his big, warm smile and positive attitude. Remarkably, that hasn't changed. My whole philosophy in life, being that my last name is Glass, I've always been a, a glass half full person. Okay, you okay? Yes. But it hasn't been easy to be positive. In a cruel twist of fate, Darren's wife, Barb, was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer just before he was diagnosed. Each has experienced the pain and fear that cancer brings as they went through treatments together. I'm the one that's supposed to be there to hold her hand. So, um, now I can't do that. Now I can't do that. Now she has to hold my hand. And I was supposed to be the one to, to walk her through this and, and be there. But now I realize that my that I'm here as a as a sort of guardian or a, a person to lead, let Barb know what it's like to go through this. But now I'm I'm the one that's I was going to show her the way when I pass. They both say cancer has made their love stronger, that they will have a bond that will never be broken. I'm going to be okay because of him. I had the most amazing man that I was able to share 11 plus years with, and that's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Uh, happy anniversary, sweetie. Happy anniversary. <laughs> 11 years to the very day. This is Darren and Barb's wedding anniversary, adding to the bittersweet emotions of joy and pain at this living wake. And there's a lot of love in that backyard right now. And, uh, and they all know it, you know, they all, they all know now how I feel about them. So it's a tremendous feeling to have. It's almost, it has a healing power behind it. It's not easy to face one's own mortality. It brings wisdom though, wisdom Darren wanted to share. You wanted not just your friends here, but you wanted this story told. Yes, yeah. You wanted me to be here to tell this story to the world. Yeah. Why, what did you want, what do you want the world to know? I just, I just want them to know that, uh, you know, it's kind of like that whole don't go to bed angry thing, you know, with your wife. You know, don't leave this world without letting people know what you truly feel about them. What have you done with your life? Have you done anything positive? Have you uh, helped somebody? Have you put a smile on somebody's face, uh, you know, on a daily basis? I love you all. all right. I love we you love all. you. Good job, good job. Yeah. And it's 
been a great life. It's been a fantastic life. That party yep. went on till 3.30 in the morning and Darren stayed up for every moment of it. He calls it his first annual Living Wake yep. and he hopes that family and friends will gather and celebrate for years to come. As you mentioned, a particularly tough story to do. Those two uh, people are family Yes, here. we and, love them. Uh, what I find extraordinary about Darren is that uh, he wanted this thing because he was concerned about how all of his friends are going to feel. Yeah. Never mind himself, it was about everyone else. It's all about everyone else. Yeah. Barb was saying that every time somebody comes to visit him, he always wants them to mm. leave smiling. He always wants yeah. to make them feel better. And he's mm. really a remarkable Quite man. A guy. He has this saying on his kitchen wall that he wrote on a, a, a chalk, mm -hmm. and it says, if you haven't laughed or cried once today, you haven't had a good day. Mm -hmm. You know? We've had, we've had a good day. How profound. We'll be right back.